Hey Colt, this is James Alvarez from Tampa, Florida. Uh, I was noticing in your archives that back in the day, once in a while, you'd get the occasional WWE talent like Kofi Kingston, Dolph Ziggler, The Miz, etc. But ever since the slew of WWE Podcast One podcasts started coming out, the it's enemy. Like you're not allowed to have WWE contracted talent on your podcast anymore. Is that the case? And if so, is there anybody on the current roster that you would love to do a podcast with? I can think of a few myself. Uh, anyway, thanks for all the free funny. Thanks for all the free entertainment. And uh, here's the 300 more. Hey, I like the free funny. Uh, okay, so let's kind of go into it. Uh, obviously, when the stuff of punk happened, uh, whatever that was, two whatever, um, all off the table. I was like persona non grata. Yeah, I was WWE enemy number number two. As not mm-hmm. supposed to number mm-hmm. one. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, and here's how it kind of worked. Was the reality was, and you know, I, Hawkins was a guy that I, you know, I talked to about was. It was just so under the radar. Nobody had any clue, any clue what a, what a podcast was, what was going on. So when I had guys like Kofi and Hornswoggle, uh, Ryder, it was just like they didn't even know what was going on, so it wasn't a big deal. You know, Dean Ambrose was the last guy. I think they had kind of people had started doing podcasts by that point, um, but I was pretty. Um, I was like in the WWE locker room at the time. I think I'd done a dark match, and you know, it came up, and Ambrose was like, "I'd love to do it," and I was like, "Sweet." I think I was talking with. Uh, Brian at the time and he was like how's it going I was like it's going really great blah 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 um, and uh, and then I think I had Brian quickly after that and then mm-hmm. Ambrose was like I'd love to do it so you know you keep that in mind that's kind of how it works with the podcast is I, I just have a, a kind of a back catalog in my head of people who would be on and you know after that all kind of went down just I, I didn't even attempt to ask anybody either more and I think even after the Ambrose one uh, after maybe Stone Cold did the one with maybe McMahon or something. Mm-hmm. And then people were like, there was something that happened or maybe when Jim Ross, maybe like Jim Ross had someone on and they were like, no way. Or Jim Ross and, and Jericho maybe like made a stink about having guests on. Yeah. I think it all kind of started when those two started their pot, like the, the whole kind of like the, the JR Austin Jericho podcast. And then it was a little bit of like, Oh, Hey, and like, you know, them saying being cr- critical, of the product or something like that. And mm-hmm. then also like, Whoa, what's going on with these podcasts? Right. So you, like you said, were kind of flying under the radar. They're notoriously behind on everything. So they're probably like, what's a podcast? Right. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. And so, uh, and then, you know, it's kind of like once I heard that stuff, like on the, you know, on the sheets or on the internet or whatever, that like people, WWE says no or whatever. Like I didn't even bother asking. I just said no. Uh, and if you notice the guys that I did have while they were in the company, they were my friends. Uh, that I knew their story. They were story. indie guys. They were indie guys. Yeah, yeah Johnny Curtis, uh, you know, as an example, uh, you know, I had him on very early before he came Fandango. And so a couple of guys that I was going to have on that I had asked and they were all about it. Uh, uh, Sandow was one of them. Uh, Wade Barrett was one of them. Uh, there's, there's two guys that were going to be on the show. Kidman was uh, going to come on. Um, uh, while I was down in development or while I was doing those announcer things, uh, I was trying to have Brookside on and he's, notoriously like aloof almost like he'll be like yeah 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 and then you won't hear from him for and like i was going down three weeks in a row so i was like i got three weeks to do one with robbie and it just never happened so those are four guys that uh i was looking forward to having on that um sadly at this point probably you know maybe after a post wwe career that they might be on of them for this week is 54 Club Apparel at 54 Club.com. It's a club sending clothes out of Los Angeles, California once a month. You can't get these clothes in stores. 54 is an actual brand. You gotta be a member if you want to wear that brand. Marty and I, we had comedy shows last week. Dan and Brenna are a couple who've been coming to my comedy shows and wrestling for a long time. Dan told me that Brenna commented and said, Wow, Colt's looking really stylish. What's going on? And the fun part is Dan knew it. He knew that that was the 54 Club stuff sent to me, and it was. And I was wearing it and people said I was stylish. It almost felt like I was on a little bit of a makeover show or something. I know nothing about fashion. I think that's the point and 5-4 Club will take care of you for that. 60 bucks a month, free shipping, each club delivery. They send you clothes that fit your fashion sense. You pick your sense. I picked casual. You can also pick classic, forward, and mix. This is the perfect way to build up your wardrobe, have options, different seasons, means different looks, and you don't have to go shopping and pick stuff that you don't want. Check it out, 5-4-Club.com 
Colt.com. If you dig it, use the promo code Colt. You get 50% off the first month. That's 30 bucks for like 150 bucks worth of clothes. 54club.com. Use that offer code Colt. We're also brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a landing page, a beautiful gallery, a professional blog, or an online store, or maybe even a wrestling site, it's all included with your Squarespace website. Let's talk about why Squarespace rules. It's easy. With a click of the mouse, drag and drop, you can build a website. I believe in you. Free custom domain. Sign up for a year. They'll give you a domain for free for a year. Beautiful templates, a.k.a. it won't look like a 1998 Angel Fire site. And if you want to know what that looks like, angelfire.com backslash IL2 backslash Colt Cabana. Seamless commerce tools, which basically means if you got something to sell, you can sell it easily on a Squarespace site. And hopefully that's the reason why you have a site. Make a little cash. 24-hour support. They got your back. Literally millions of people use it, and some of your favorite sites are no doubt ran by Squarespace. You might as well use what the pros use. Start your free trial today. Go to squarespace.com, enter the offer code COLT, and get 10% off your very first purchase. Squarespace, set your website apart. 